Behind me is a 1991 Dodge Turbo Diesel Cummins. This is considered the first gen Cummins. This truck has been sitting since 2012, 10 years. Today we are gonna do a wilt run video. We're gonna give this thing some fresh feel and see if we can get it going. story is this thing popped out of gear popped in neutral went rolling down a hill slammed into a tree that's why the front fender is all pushed in and the door there i don't know if any budweiser's were involved in that but there is uh, uh just a few budweiser bottle caps down there this truck has 270,000 miles on it she's a four-wheel drive automatic Whew. So it has been sitting for quite some time. We talked to my grandpa and he showed that no concern of this thing would fire up if it was running and it was parked, which it was. We're gonna give some oil to the turbo here just so it doesn't start dry. Currently fighting the wasps that are coming out of it. I don't see no wasps, what are you talking about? This is a fine ride though. We got some deep cells marine batteries. Give plenty of juice to try and crank this thing over. Top it off with fluids, all the goodness. Yeah, don't hit the hole, just get it everywhere but the hole. So the air box that hooks up to the turbo, it is not hooked up. So there's stuff living in there. We really need to pop this off, make sure the turbo's cleaned up so nothing's in there when we try and fire this thing up like i said pull the line off of it we didn't bring all the tools definitely slacking out of the tool chest here you got no reason to that seems like it'd be loose enough what are you doing come on Jeez, this is a long-winded son of a gun right here Let's see what's living in here oh well something was living in there because there is a walnut up inside the turbo. That's always a good sign. That's why we took that off. Is that needs to be cleaned up. Get all of that out of there. Oh man. Yeah, that would have been good for the turbo to sucking up. Right off since it's broke. So if it does, so we can crank it over. So. Our last wilt run video lasted for about eight minutes. It was an old swept line that sat for 22 years, 318. Didn't expect it to fire up and it started super easy. So we were hoping that this one might be a little bit more difficult, but it would also be nice if it just fired right on up. Guess we'll see here. One dang mice will ruin a car. Squirrels too. Squirrels. I don't think a squirrel is fitting up inside there. You'd be surprised. Huh, maybe. It did have what do a... you think carried that big ass nut up in there? Yeah. Kill that son of a gun. He just flew off. <laughs> Ticks don't fly. Touched and we're flying. <laughs> Alright, pop this back on. Squirrel a little bit of lubrication up in there. A little bit of looby doob. I don't know. You're supposed to, but not a lot. Let's spin around a little bit. Squirt some electric towards the back and do some. It's right up top, so it runs down. Oh, yeah, that's spinning a lot better. Some oil. Ooh, she's dry. So we're gonna dump oil right down that, huh? Regular oil? 15 millimeter down there. Oh, slight turn there. She turning? Yeah, backward. Turning backwards the same as forward, right? As long as it's turning over, freeing up. Oh yeah, no funnel needed. The tensioner pulley's locked up, so 
That's why the motor's not turning over. It's getting the belt in a bind. Oh, it's uh, swapping. Super, super tight there and a little loose there. I gotta get this belt off there so I can crank the motor over. Oh yeah, crank's over nice and easy. Take the fuel cap off and make sure it smells like diesel in there. I said if it smells like sulfur, that ain't good. What's it smell like? Smell like sulfur. Nose work? Let me give a sniffing. Well, I think it smells like fuel. 15W40. It's a couple quarts low, so I'm going to fill her up here. What a dipstick. That thing is huge. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's good. Ready to go. Jeez. You little son of a guns. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Just gave her a little crank in there and it seemed like it was trying to already go. Gonna give her some fresh fuel and see what it's about after that. Grandpa gave us whatever this stuff is. He says that you can't use too much of it. I believe that it makes it a higher octane. Some diesel fuel supplement. Citane Boost Winterizer Anti-Gel. Since diesels, I guess they're known for gelling up if they sit. <laughs> Don't think we're getting enough juice, so we're hooking up the jumper cables. We're gonna try it now, see if that helps out here. Popping the belt off, not gonna let it run very long because the water pump won't be running. Don't want it to overheat or anything like that, but just wanna hear it run and let it go for a second here. Woo! It's like a diesel. Zero oil pressure. Sounds pretty good there. About the compressor locked up. Squealing like a dying child. We're watching for oil at the top of the motor here. Oh, oh we might have a little bit there actually. I didn't feel like I was stopping at all. I mean, this pedal's fit, but yeah, it's gotta have brakes. Maybe it just need to be pumped. That was 
Sugeshi. Oh, it blew out. Yeah, we're God. You were going so fast, I was drifting back there. It was getting so squirrely. All right, it's currently the next day. We didn't get a very good video of dragging this thing home, but we did trying to get this thing going. Got a bunch of oil for an oil change, shelter, all the good stuff here. Test this compressor is junk currently. I don't know if you can see there, kind of at the end of my finger there, cutting a groove in it and going to take a punch here and try to give it a good tapping to see if it'll loosen up. Getting aggressive with it. Got movement. All right, she should be good. We can put the belt back on. She is spinning. It's still probably gonna sound pretty bad, but that belt will let us run it with the belt, water pump going, and see if she's got any oil pressure. We got a brand new belt here. Never been used. That's good. good shape. Got fuel pressure or oil, oil pressure? About 60 pounds. So we let this thing run for a second, let the oil that was chunked up and everything get nice and warm. This thing takes 12 quarts of oil, but let's go ahead and get this done and maybe we'll be able to get this back wheel freed up and maybe go for a little test drive. All right, let's see how dirty this oil is here. Probably gonna be nice and warm. Oh, she's black. Didn't see anything chunky really come out there. So we're gonna do some very necessary repairs here. This is gonna make it a lot better here. Big upgrades. Oh yeah, I think we'll be able to plug this tire. This one don't, but that one did. All right, day three of this video, we are going to go for test drive. Hood latch on, upgraded version. This one's a beefy one. Dad got the rear wheel broke loose. He's a rookie with the filming, so he thought he was filming, but he didn't. What did you do to do that? Get it broke loose? Adjusted the brake adjuster and pecked on a hammer for a while. And yeah, she's good now. We're gonna go take her for a test drive. Got the windows looking brand new in this thing. Great. A little bit of brakes, not too much. Too full.
good for something that was sitting just for 10 years. The steering wheel's pretty straight. The steering wheel's real straight. A little old there. Hey, runner. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap up the video on the first gen Cummins. I think it was a great buy. If you've been following along on the channel, you can probably guess what this truck's for. But if you don't, so be it. Go check out the other videos. Maybe you'll figure it out. Thanks for watching.